Oklahoma Zone News on 6 starts now. First at four, we are getting a look at the video leading up to an officer involved shooting in Sand Springs Labor Day weekend. Thank you for joining us this Monday afternoon. I'm Ashley Izmicki. I'm Brian Dorman. Police Chief Mike Carter says this is the first officer involved shooting in Sand Springs in nearly four years. News on 6's Amy Kaufman joins us now to break down the video. Sand Springs police tried to stop Robert Dejarlis Jr. after he drove into an intersection and ran over a curb. But when the officer turned his lights on, Dejarlis took off. And we want to warn you, this video could be disturbing to watch. Stop the vehicle! In the video, you can see 49-year-old Robert Dejarlis Jr. run into a Sand Springs police officer, pinning him between his door and the car. The officer, who was identified as Lieutenant Kevin O'Keefe, commanded Dejarlis to stop four times, but he kept going, nearly running the officer over. The original pursuit started just after after eight on Sunday night on the first. But when O'Keefe tried to pull Dejarlis over for a traffic stop, he took off, leading O'Keefe on a pursuit for four miles. That's when Dejarlis drove onto a dead end road and then ended up turning around, coming at Lieutenant O'Keefe. O'Keefe commanded him to stop four times, then fired four shots into the vehicle's driver's side window, hitting him four times, killing him at the scene. There was room on both sides of the of the vehicle for another vehicle to get by. Uh, again, I'm not going to speculate as to why those actions were taken, but the end result was is that it collided with uh, the patrol vehicle and, and the officer felt that was the action he needed to take. Sand Springs Police Department says OSBI has now taken over this investigation and they'll hand their report over to the district attorney's office when their investigation is complete. We'll have much more on this.